Welcome to this week's edition of Today's Canadian Perspective. This week, tens of thousands of people joined together in downtown Vancouver to support 420 Day. Meanwhile, in Toronto, Mayor Ford was informed that his flight would be delayed to Vancouver. It's all right, though. We did catch up with Mayor Ford several hours after arriving in Vancouver at his hotel for a picture opportunity. Also happening in Vancouver, the Vancouver Canucks are not making it to the playoffs this year. We did catch up with John Tortorella, who informed us that he has brought on specialists to ensure he's got a better chance next season. Also in Vancouver, the Secret Service is preparing the motorcade for an official visit of the U.S. President. This is always exciting in Vancouver. It's the last time there was that much excitement about a motorcade for any of our politicians. It was back in Shanghai when Chrétien got the training wheels off his bicycle. Also this week in World News, the Korean ferry that has sunk. The last time we saw something sink that bad in Vancouver was the stock of Research in Motion. Kind of reminds you of when you were a kid and you were always told to wear clean underwear before you go out by your parents to make sure that if you were in an accident, well, this is the re- aftershot of one of the ferry passengers. Didn't seem to help him at all. Ferry officials in Korea have decided after watching the New York Easter egg hunt to issue new safety equipment to make it easier to find their staff should there be another ferry capsizing. Also this week, we caught up with President Obama, who was out enjoying a nice ice cream cone as he toured around the country. The last time we saw the president eating something so white at the... Well, we'll leave that one alone. This week, the Surgeon General has reminded us that smoking can be dangerous and cause cancer. As everyone in my family dies of colon cancer, I figure I'm all right if people would just quit blowing smoke up my ass. Surgeon General is also just reminding people to make sure that when getting tattoos, they get them from a reputable and clean facility. My theory on tattoos has always been that if women get a nice garter snake as they're younger on their breast, they can wait till they're 80 and wrap it around their head like an anaconda, thus making them age gracefully. Charlie Sheen has found out that the war on drugs will continue and has gotten prepared. This week also, the new book by author James Kuznall was released. Making money is always good in music and building your career. But for some, it just isn't going to help. Once again, this is today's Canadian Perspective. Join us next week.